All right, so what I'm about to work on here is uh, these these video ports and the power circuitry. Um, I haven't cut the case out yet, but uh, I, I'm going to desolder this off the motherboard. I've uh, written down the pinouts here. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to work on that really quick. So Warm up the soldering iron. So now what I'm probably going to do is uh, desolder this power jack here, um, take off their 7805 voltage regulator and uh, solder it on there and, and get it ready to be put into the board. Alright, so now that I've got these, uh, I've got the jack off and I've got the um, 7805 voltage regulator here, um, I'm going to probably, what I used to do is I, uh, like what I did on the old model, is I just kind of mounted this on here um, and it had enough clearance inside the case. So I'm going to try to do the same thing. Um, but the, the cool, the interesting thing about these is uh, these boards originally used like an inverted uh, barrel jack, meaning that the typically the shroud on the barrel jack um, or the shield, whatever you want to call it, that is the ground, and then the inside stem is the positive voltage. Um, but on this on this remake uh, NES, they actually flipped that around, where the shroud was the positive, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna flip that back around, considering that most most jacks that I come across have a uh, positive stem and and a ground as the shroud. So that's the way I'm gonna wire it up. Okay, so there we have it. I ended up uh, switching theirs out for a uh, for one of my 7805s, but um, just because of power dissipation um, or heat dissipation. So yeah, it, it's just mounted right here on the back of the voltage regulator, and then what I'll end up doing, or right on the back of the uh, power jack, and then what I end up doing is uh, just kind of putting this in there like that, um, cutting out a square, and then hot gluing it. Alright, so what I'm going to do next is, um, this is, I'm going to be t cutting out the audio and video ports here off of uh, the original board, and pretty much I'm just going to chop these off, just the audio and video lines, uh, with the Dremel tool, so let me turn off the soldering iron. What I use for that is just a uh, standard Dremel cutoff disc, like, uh, I don't know, I just picked it up at Home Depot. Um, that works good for doing just work for uh, cutting PCBs out, um, which is actually what I used uh, to cut out the the cartridge port here. I, I cut out the main stuff with that, and then I used my files here to just file down the rest of it. But for these, I used a um, like a little dental burr. That's probably really hard to see on the camera, but I just kind of like cut out a rough perimeter, and then I just filed the rest of it out. 
Alright, so here we go. Gonna cut out the uh, PCB here. Alright, so that's all cut out. Um, what, I, what I typically find is that what I have to end up doing is, is actually cutting off some of this stuff on the top here and uh, actually flatten out some of the solder joints as well just to get it to fit in the case. So um, I'm actually going to get some safety glasses. Uh, I know, it was probably terrible that I did that and I'm not wearing a respirator for all this fiberglass stuff that's getting kicked up in the air. But um, I'll be right back. I'm going to go get some safety glasses because I don't want any of this metal in my eye. Alright, safety glasses. So there we go, I've uh, shaved off this top two flanges there so that now I have a lot more closer of a clearance. Um, now what I'll do is cut down on the solder joints. So those are pretty flat now. Um, I suppose I could have used my soldering iron to, to kind of remove some of the extra solder, but you know, you're always going to get a spherical shape to them, so I just flattened them out. Alright, so um, next step is to get some wires on here and um, solder them onto the motherboard. But I think I'm going to hold off on that just for now until I actually cut the holes out in the case for those. So that'll be the next step, next video. Um, thanks for watching.